Are you saying that Cambosos has a better resume than Devin and that he brings more money than Devin? Why you rate his mandatory more than you do Devin Haney's? Better resume? Honestly. Hmm. <laughs> Cambosos fought his way. I don't think Devin has fought his way. But yeah, he does bring money to the table if the fight goes to Australia. Yeah. It's time where I start making more money now. But you know, if man. If it goes been... to Australia, if it doesn't go to Australia, he's going to present more money than Devin Haney in the US? Yeah. Wow. Tio said he respects Tom Post's mandatory, but he doesn't respect Devin Haney mandatory, even though Devin fought his way to the title. What's your thoughts on that? It doesn't make any sense. You know, I mean, the people will be the judge of that, you know. I mean, I don't, we don't have to sit up here and play with nobody. We know what the people, the fight, the people want to see. They want to see Lopez and Haney. We've had Ryan Garcia, the Garcia team. They've said that they would like to see Haney and Lopez. You have the Mayweathers, Mayweather team, and Leonard Ellaby, who's also said that they want to see Lopez. Hey, watch that. The Garcias and the Mayweathers, you just haven't seen the Lopez family show show the interest that the Haney's are, are showing about making this thing happen. Her Tyson, who's now come out and he said that he wants to see it. So, um, and with all due respect to Ken Bosis, because I, you know, I happen to know everyone in the lightweight division, or at least I try to know him. I know who he is, but uh, his profile is not, is not nowhere near Devin's is and in terms of demanding a fight. So, like I said before and earlier, is that we understand the rules to be what what he keeps saying the rules are, you know. Even though they've changed the rules, but one thing he's been consistent in saying is is that the franchise champion is a franchise champion to make the biggest fights happen. So they're running out of opponents, running out of time, and uh, it's only a matter of time before the people really demand that uh, the WBC deliver on their promise in terms of making the biggest fights happen with the franchise type title. He said he making more money fighting composers in the United States than he would against Devin Hayden. Shame on, shame on the people that's handling his career because ultimately we know what Devin means to boxing, what he means to, to the sport, and what he means to our culture. So to, to then openly or say that, you know, a Cambosis fight would give him more money when He's not getting money off the seats. He's not negotiating who he's going to fight. He's not seeing any of the paperwork uh, just coming in in terms of the logistics to where the fights fights are going to be. So when he says that, I think it's, he's doing a disservice to himself as well as his as well as his management team as well as his management team also doing a disservice into having him think that he would get into a fight with Devin Haney to unify all the belts and he get paid lesser than what he would be getting paid for Cambosis. But oh, he said a lot of different things. And one thing that he did say when he when he met up with Eddie Hearn is that they wanted 10 million. So I don't know how much more he would want than that, you know, than what he asked Devin for. He said he's going to get even more from fighting Cambosis. Yeah. Well, Devin was paid his last fight. More than both T.O. and Composis was paid their last fight combined. So what kind of math is T.O. doing? The math is not adding up. No, it isn't, brother. The stories aren't adding up, and we're not looking for him to add up. We're looking for him to succumb to the pressure of all his lies not matching up, and ultimately he's just saying that he got a fight. I made more than double of what Tiafimo made for his last fight for against Loma. Wow. Pound for pound best. The youngest promoter in the game, the youngest champion in the game, and the most paid as well. You could add that to the list. Tiafimo said something just... about show me yeah. something. Show show me something. What has Camboso showed you? I never even seen Camboso's fight. No dish I really haven't seen Camboso's fights. I'm I'm not bullshit, I swear to God. God strike me dead right now if I'm lying. I never saw him fight before. Like, does, right. he, does he does he fight on TV? Well, I think his last fight he fought Lee, uh, a guy who moved up from 126 to lightweight. What, what network did he fight on? 
that I'm not sure. Maybe Sky Sport. But, I mean, obviously, he said, show me something. He wants you to show him that $10 million, Devin. That's what he wants you to show yeah, him. That's what he wants. Do you think he's going to make $10 million find Josh Taylor? Or he going to request $10 million to find Josh Taylor? Hell no. Hell no. Right, he's not right. going to make $5 million. Yeah, that's he's for sure. He's not going to make $3 million. They don't so, say it no more. Now they're selling $10 million. Yeah, that, that's a new that's that's a new way of ducking. You just outprice yourself out like Gary Russell do. We just gotta see who will step up to the plate. I'm willing to fight anybody. It doesn't matter who it is. Why did you choose Lomachenko? Because I did not choose him. He requested. Canelo requested. So we sent out a vote and we analyzed his history. Ooh, Canelo and Lomachenko requested. Absolutely. Ooh, you just made headlines. Lomachenko. <laughs> you just made headlines. Lomachenko, uh -huh. top rank, requested. Uh -huh. And let me tell you, we analyzed the request. Uh -huh. Top of the top. Find the franchise belt. Can you define it? The franchise is not a belt. It's not a championship. It's a designation given to elite unique fighters who carry the industry of the sport of boxing canelo alvarez and lomachenko are two sensational fighters who carry the industry ask ask cameron duncan do top rank have like uh um uh columns of fighters and they say we don't want this guy fighting the black fighter we don't want this fighter fighting the mexican fighter and so on and so forth you gotta get into the racial stuff, huh? No, I'm not. I'm just. I, I'm asking. Uh, that's a theory there by the greatest matchmaker, probably in my opinion, ever. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm not gonna mention his name either, but uh -huh. you know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. And uh, he used to have a thing up on his board: NBF, no black fighters. Uh -huh. And when I was taught to bring up a fighter, um. You know, and again, it's just, he used to say to me, you can go anywhere in the country and I'm going to leave it at this. And I don't want to go into a long discussion mm -hmm. because yeah. people are people in God's eyes and yes. we're all the same. He used to say to me, you can go anywhere into a city in America mm -hmm. or anywhere in the world and ask a white guy. And he didn't say any other, he didn't say anything about a Hispanic, anything. Ask a white guy to throw a jab, and half of them are going to turn backwards and throw it like a girl and everything. Ask any black man on a street corner in any city in the world, and they will snap out a jab in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And I used to laugh. He said, they're just more physically gifted. Mm -hmm. And he said, and so they have speed and better to stay away from them. Mm -hmm. Nothing personal. So... I said, okay, and I've lived by that, mm. and, um, you know, I, you know, I don't want to sound like some weird guy, but, um, you know, you're trying to be safe with your guys, and so, yeah, yeah, there is a thing about that, you know, but not in a bad way, in a very respectful way, you know, to be careful, so that's all. The mask man even said they doing that to protect them. Right. Somebody beat them, but they don't get a belt. There you go. The franchise belt is to protect them from the big black guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you 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 would favor Devin Haney to beat Vasily Lomachenko? And with the fighter, I'm only gonna put him in a fight that I believe that he can win. Right. So, I I don't know how to answer that question. Did you say you would only put your fighter in a position where in a fight where he can win? Where I believe he could win. Yeah, I don't put a fighter in uh, where he has no chance and he's just in there for a payday for me and him. I don't do that. So, so is but it I more about how you I don't put a fight out. That again goes back to Leonard Ellaby. What he was trying to say is risk reward. Right. So if you were in a situation where you felt like, I'm going to just use hypotheticals. If you thought that uh, Devin Haney was a bad matchup for Tiafimo Lopez, in essence, you wouldn't make that fight because you didn't want to put Tiafimo in a situation where you felt like he couldn't win. Is that what I'm hearing? 
Only if, I mean, you sometimes make a fight because it, if, let's say the fighter has a 40% chance of winning. So he's like, right. in your mind, an underdog. If the reward is great, you make that fight. It's risk reward. 